Chatty Dad One with you today. Um, as many of you have probably already heard, uh, the terrible thing happened today. There was a bombing at the Boston uh, Marathon. There was uh, three bombs that went off. And, you know, they're right on track with their plans. Right on track. Right behind the whole gun rights bill, which is ridiculous anyway because the UN Arms Agreement's been signed, the treaty, so-called, even though they're still operating and killing others. But the only thing that this is going to do is cause us to lose our freedoms. This isn't just a bad day for Chicago. It's a bad day for the United States. Because this gives them all that they need to take away more of our freedoms. Here's a uh, little note that a teacher was having her kids write in, in school, in class. It says, I am willing to give up some of my constitutional rights in order to be safe or more secure. A teacher in Jacksonville had her students writing that. A dad found it in the the kid's pocket and he was pissed I would be too this is insane as you can see down here teacher asks kids to give up constitutional rights for safety and I wouldn't be surprised if they send a batch of these off to the president you know saying that the kids are willing to do this willing to give up their freedom well you don't deserve freedom if that's the case you don't deserve security if that's the case. The only way you're going to be free and secure is by protecting yourself. The Second Amendment gives us that capability. These people want to take it away. They want to take away our capability to be secure, to be safe. Because I guarantee you that's the only thing going to keep you safe when someone comes around that wants to harm you. Comes to take your life or the life of your children or family away. The only one there that's going to defend them is you. And if you don't have the means to do so, I feel for you. Because you're going to have to stand there and watch You know, this is just, this is sickening because this is exactly what they want to do. We know why they want to do it. They want to disarm us so they can come in, I believe anyways, and collapse the economy so they will have no, um, they won't have disorder. They, you know, people ain't going to be do nothing but throw rocks. And that's what they want. We've got these chains right here are not strong. They're weak. This guy could break them if he wanted to. But give them a little while and these chains that are breakable will turn into these unbreakable chains. And that's where we're headed very quickly. Very quickly. We need all freedom-loving Americans to stand up. Do what it takes. Get yourself ready to protect yourself. Because there's way too many people sleeping right now. They're waking up pretty quick. 
They're waking up at a very quick rate. But there's still too many asleep. So wake up. Awake. Wake your neighbor. Wake your friend. There's so much proof. So many things that we've been able to show you. That you can show them that what's going on is real. When you've got children writing, I am willing to give up some of my freedom, my constitutional freedoms. Oh, I'm sorry. I am willing to give up some of my constitutional rights in order to be safe, safer or free or more secure. I'm sorry, I'm jumbling that. But when you've got kids being pushed to write this, that's setting them up for this right here. You know, here's your true security. You want to be real safe, go lock yourself up in a cage somewhere. Nothing will harm you. Nothing can get to you. You're protected, right? Aren't you protected in a cell? Isn't that what they tell you? Well, we think you need to come down. We're, we're going to put you up for the night so you can be safe exactly what they tell you it's exactly what they do to people it's the only way they could keep them safe especially before the whole relocation of, uh, of things you know of people giving them a new name a new face they'd have to lock them up somewhere make sure that they're safe and secure I did a search on uh, domestic terrorists and look at this look what comes up you won't believe some of the people that's wrapped up in domestic terrorists that are not domestic terrorists there's Ron Paul absolutely not a domestic terrorist maybe he is according to their definition this one surely is in my book a domestic terrorist, but she's got the authority to do whatever. Domestic terrorists, yeah. That could be anybody, as far as they go, as far as they're concerned, any one of us. But it's not. They're the terrorists, not us, not Rand Paul, not the senators that are trying to fight for our freedoms and rights. They're the heroes. They're the true patriots of today. They're trying to keep us from going into communism, socialism, and total takeover from those who want to control everything <clears throat> from <clears throat> you being able to have animals or cows on your place the medicines you buy everything you all know this more and more especially when they show domestic terrorists as the three little old ladies I mean come on give me a break give me a break it's sad but that's what the uh, bombings gonna bring us is more security more safety That's what they're gonna call it <clears throat> they're gonna say we've got to do something about this so the things that we've witnessed go on in the Middle East are now right here in our backyard and we knew they would be because they've got to speed up their plan they're running out of time so are we so you need to do what you can to protect yourself and your family do all you can to protect the freedoms that we have help others to realize what's going on there's a reason right now that gold has dropped in price 
I believe it's because they want to give everybody false information and think that their gold isn't worthless so that you can sell it and they'll turn around and, and buy it up and, and skyrocket the price. Buy food. Buy things that is going to get you through when there's no power for months. Take care of your family. Take care of yourself. Take care of those who are going to help take care of you. Work as a unit. Have a good relationship with your Father in Heaven. Because He's going to help us get through this whole thing. He knows what's going on and it's all its all according to His plan. It's, it's working out just exactly how He planned it. Anyways, I hope everybody's well, and I hope everybody's having a good day. This is Chatty Dad 1. God bless. Good luck to us all. Never give up your guns. Buy all the ammo you can, if you can, and God bless us all. Over and out.